Good morning, everyone. Uh, back here to continue working on our robot gripper. And um, this is kind of where you left off, or where I asked you to leave off, where you kind of drew one of every part and things hadn't been assembled yet. So let's kind of pick up there. Uh, what I want to show you first is I created a folder um, that my robot gripper's in and then opened it up just to kind of try to stay organized. And you can do your whatever works for you, but I kind of want to just fill you in there. I'm going to make mine full size here. And so far, yours should look like this, where you have five components all labeled, and I have no bodies, right? I created um, a couple different planes that I used to draw some of this. Um, obviously, lots of sketches. Um, but really, we have the five components. And right now, I'm working on the whole thing. And so my, my dot up here for my active component is actually an assembly. And so to start looking at some symbols, when I have multiple boxes, cubes, right up there, like this little symbol that you see, that means that this drawing, this file, is an assembly file. Um, if it was just one block like this, which a lot of our drawings are, that means it's a single component. So just have one block up there. Um, so it all depends on what you're doing, um, but the blocks represent um, components. And then the bodies look like this. And so there's all those logos and symbols that you can see that will kind of help you figure out what's going on. So just kind of be aware of that. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is start to assemble this stuff. We drew it like this, but you can see if I start, if I just click on this and move it, nothing is actually joined together. Nothing is fastened. Nothing is, you know, stuck together. And so um, there's a couple of ways we could do that. We could do it the old way now where I just went up here and I would say joint and, you know, um, click revolute on these and slide on this one and all that good stuff. Um, but there's a different way to do it. So if you want to do it the way we did the do nothing machine, going through it this way, you're more than welcome to do that. And there may be times that we need to do that. But I want to just show you a different technique here, a new technique, that when we go to assemble, instead of just stopping and joint, let's go as built. And so what that's really saying is that I already drew it where I want it. So we're going to join it that way. So we're going to click on as built joint, and it asks first which components. And so let's start first over here with this um, swing arm. Okay, so I want this one and then my base. Okay, so, so everything else fades away, which is good. So these are the two that you want to work on joining. And right there, I don't want it rigid. I don't want a slider. I want the revolute made, okay? And then the last thing it wants to know is, okay, what exactly are we snapping these two things to? And so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in there, and I'm going to kind of orbit so that I can see that where it was um, connected. And so all I need to do is say that that's where I want it. And you can see when I click that, it starts moving, saying, okay, is that what you wanted? I could test it again over here by previewing the motion. And that's exactly how I want that to spin. And so it's a little bit less um, kind of two in one rather than clicking on each one. I can click one space and say that's where we want it to be. And you can, you can mess with some other things, some limits and things like that. But we're gonna let that spin freely for now. We'll stop our preview and hit okay. And now, if I go to move this, that's stuck together. Okay, and this brings up another little issue. All right, so let's take go it back. I want everything to stay together how I drew it. Right now, everything can move. So let's go ahead and make it so that this base plate stays put. So I'm going to go over here and right-click on this, and I'm going to then hit ground. And so now, if I go to move this, oops. Now, that's just swinging. It's not moving everything else, right? I'm going to undo that and get it back where it was because this is now grounded instead of everything moving like you just saw a second ago. Okay, so that one's now um, joined to this, and we're just going to do that again. And the shortcut for that would be hitting Shift and J. And so I want this one and this one, and it's already on Revolute. And so it goes a little bit faster now. I just want to make sure I get this proper space. And you see that that's spinning. That's exactly what I want. And now we're going to hit Shift J again. I don't want this and this to be joined. And we're going to do another Revolute. And the, the uh, snap point is right in there at that circle. And that's exactly what I want that to do. And I can hit OK. And now Shift J, we have one more Revolute um, joint to make. And it's going to be between this and this. Okay. And snap point is the same thing. That's spinning, that's what we want, hit okay. 
and now all this stuff is now, you know, together. Okay? So undo that so it's right back where it was when I drew it. <clears throat> and now what we need to do is put a slider on this kind of, what is this thing called again? The actuator. I will slide in and out of our base. Okay? And so I can hit Shift J again. And this time I'm going to do the base and the actuator. And instead of Revolute, I want that to slide. Okay? I still have to kind of designate where it's going to slide. And so what we want by hovering over that shaft, and you see the arrow pop up, that's exactly what we want right there. Okay. And then it also wants us to select, I believe, if I can get it to. Okay, so let's back up a little bit. I might need to do this one first. So let's snap that one. Oh, and that automatically read it for me. So instead of grabbing the shaft, kind of grab that, um, the, the edge there that makes up that hole that we made, okay? And let's preview that again. That's what we want. Okay, and so now what you see here in front of you has all been um, joined. And so by grabbing this and sliding it, that's what we want to have happen here, okay? And then I'm going to undo that to get it back to how it was when I drew it. And so this is now the assembly of this. Um, the, I'm going to kind of pause it here, I think, and then make another video. So this is just kind of um, making sure our parts are all assembled, okay?